Two of the applications I use the most in my digital workflow are Adobe Photoshop CS5 and uh, Apple Aperture 3.0. And while they are the newest and best versions of both um, companies' software, there is a bit of a problem with this upgrade that I've made. And it is that many of the plugins and filters that I bought for the previous editions don't work in the new versions without one change being made. And here's how you ch make that change. If you go and find the application, and I'll start with Adobe Photoshop, and I'll highlight it, and I go Command-I, or Get Information, you do the same thing uh, by going up into the menu, too, and getting information. And look for a checkbox that says Open in 32-bit mode, and check that. Uh, this application is, um, by default, a 64-bit application, which is a modern standard for applications. And then what I want to do is find Aperture, highlight it, Command-I, and then check Open in 32-bit mode. And what that does is it lets my previous versions of filters work. In fact, let's open Aperture. Once it's open, uh, find a picture. I'll just take this one of a uh, carving um, in Europe. And I'm going to go up to Photos, Edit with Plugin, and I'm going to pick um, a plugin that I use quite a bit called Silver Effects Pro. Now, obviously, you may not have these plugins, but someday you may have one, and you're going to want to make it work. And so here's the plugin. Now, uh, this particular one allows me to do a lot of work uh, to uh, change the uh, tone of the picture if I want to convert it to black and white or sepia or anything else for that matter. Anyway, that's how you turn your newest uh, versions of Photoshop and Aperture into versions that will work with your um, plugins that you've used um, before.